What is good? I mean, what is really good, my people? It is UK. Trotter Brother, Dr. Blade, the darkest man. Around us today, guys, I am going to be talking about whether the Funimation dub is worth watching. And I'm not alone. I am here with Mr. Ninja Star. Say hi to the people, man. Hello to the people. I'm happy to be joining my boy Dr. Blick on another One Piece discussion. These are always fun to do, whether it's on my channel, his channel, whatever. So let's just get right to it. Yeah, so Ninja, I'm going to ask you this question first before we dive. Okay, we're pretty much already diving into the video, <laughs> but I'm going to ask you this question first. Do you feel Funimation capture One Piece in the correct manner? You know what? I think they adapted fairly well. Um, I think it's definitely inferior to the Japanese because the Japanese, it's literally perfect. It, I don't think anything can come to it. That is the best way to experience the One Piece anime. But if you want something to kind of watch in the background and still be kind of faithful and still capture um, the general uh, basis for a lot of these characters and storylines and all that, I think the Funimation dub is definitely worth watching. I mean, it's not like uh, Dragon Ball's original dub where there were like a lot of mistranslation errors or a lot of dub changes for the names. I would say it's fairly accurate. People just have their little gripes, um, mainly because they aren't a big fan of a lot of the voices, but I still think the voices capture the characters fairly well. and. You do get used to used to like um, like people like calling Clinton Beards Luffy because I think a big reason why people didn't like um, like her the general Funimation dub is they associate those characters with Dragon Ball too much. Like I know some people don't like the Funimation dub because whenever they hear Luffy they think of Gohan or whenever they hear Zoro they think of like Piccolo or something. And I get that, but I think over time once you watch enough of it you that really starts to go away and you can appreciate it for what it is. So I think all in all, even though it's not as good as the Japanese, the Funimation dub is still a solid um, take on the One Piece anime. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I totally agree with that. I did notice that a lot of people that came from Dragon Ball and started watching One Piece, they did have a problem with um, hearing Zoro's voice and thinking of Piccolo, all that stuff. It does take quite a bit to get adjusted to, but me personally, I enjoyed my experience going through the Funimation dub. Because when I was catching up with One Piece, I was watching the dub, and the dub caught me up good. I love the characters voices I just got used to it I just love the flow of things when I got to Japanese version it made everything feel so much more tense you felt the emotion a lot more you felt the um, <clears throat> the heart and soul that they put into this but whenever it comes down to whether you're watching Japanese or English dub by Funimation they both capture One Piece in a good way and I feel like if you're someone that wants to catch up to One Piece you want to watch the anime I feel like Funimation dub is a good way to catch you up to the anime faster. It, that's that's my opinion. I know a lot of people would prefer the Japanese version, but in my opinion, when it comes down to catching up in a good pace in a good amount of time, then I would say the dub is a good way to go around it. The voices are solid. At the beginning, you probably could say that they're iffy, but um, as time goes on, you see them actually grow into actually becoming better voice actors with the voices they're using. And I do gotta say this as well: there are some characters like um, like Kid and and uh, Bellamy who sound exactly the same, and there's no real difference. And to me personally, I didn't really like that, but it is what it is. But Ninja, you got anything to add to what I said? <clears throat> yeah, I do. Um, I also think like going off a lot of your points. I also think that the the fandom's perception of the Funimation dub is a little bit too much on the hate end. Because it's weird, like when you're comparing with the One Piece and Dragon Ball fandoms, they're kind of opposites in a lot of the way, at least as far as, as, far as it goes to like the general opinion on dubbing. Like for Dragon Ball, at least like pre-Super, most of the fans kind of preferred the dub and really ragged on the sub despite really never having seen it. And with One Piece, it's kind of the opposite. Most of the fans love the sub, but then kind of rag on the dub because, you know, they've, uh, they've never really seen it. Or they've only seen, like, select clips, which out of context don't sound the best. Um, you know, they fit better within the context of the episode. But it's also, like, I think a lot of people associate the English dub of One Piece with four kids. And, I mean, the four kids dub of One Piece, that that's in a category of its own, you know? <laughs> it's, just, it's one of those things where it's, it's so bad that it's good. But the Funimation dub thing actually 
but the Funimation dub actually does take itself a bit seriously, and it does nail a lot of the key points that make One Piece so great. So I think, like, all in all, people's perception, they, I guess it's just being misinformed or something, but it, they they mix up the two too much, um, so they will automatically hear One Piece dub and they think of four kids, and I mean, I, I get that, but it's also like, well, yeah, they're like two main One Piece dubs. There was like one more that was like the Odex dub or something, but the two main ones that come to mind are Four Kids and Funimation, and people gotta stop, uh, you know, thinking they're the same, when really they're pretty different. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I totally agree. Obviously, there's gonna be voices you do not like, and obviously there's gonna be voices that you're gonna find perfect. It's like that with a majority of dubs, because when you're used to hearing a character sound a certain way, you end up not really liking the way they sound, in my opinion. Or, or you got people that read the manga, and then when they, when they watch the sub or dub, they're just like, nah, that's not how I envisioned this character sounding. Because it all comes down to opinions and perspective and how you want that character to sound, or how you feel that character should sound. Um, <clears throat> and with four kids, they messed up a lot, because One Piece is already a goofy looking series. And since One Piece is already a goofy looking series, Four Kids made it even goofier than it actually is meant to be. <laughs> so they messed it up on that point and Four Kids being as bad as it is does have a massive impact on the Funimation dub and the fact that the Funimation dub isn't doing as well as it should kind of explains why the show has been cancelled so many times. I do know a lot of people over in America that have um, that ha watch a lot of Toonami have said to me that the time slots that they put One Piece is terrible so people wouldn't want to watch it at that time slot I do not know but there's one thing I do know is that I would like to see the dub get more support honestly I would like to see the dub get more support and um, I think it was you that said this Ninja that they're dubbing One Piece at a terrible rate um, am I well uh, granted yeah, yeah. Um, granted I will say that this uh, the last time we got an episode in the time now is the longest break or hiatus we've gotten got it um hiatus we've gotten for episodes but like it's nine months or like 10 months or something and that's yeah <laughs> 10 months without dubbing without like releasing a single dubbed episode that's something um i don't think it ever it was ever this bad since like um between any's lobby and thriller bark and i mean the point it dropped off was really really weird because i mean at first it was going at a solid rate of like i think a handful of episodes a month and that's a little faster than it being like week to week on Toonami or something, but like now it's just being really, really irregular. Like I, I guess it's going by the box sets, but the box sets and DVDs take forever to release. So it's, it's really, really inconsistent. So whenever like you are catching up to One Piece via the dub, you're going to have to switch over eventually. Like it's not very caught up, I would say. I mean, unless you're fine with waiting for indefinite hiatuses for it to come back, then I would say it's worth it just switching over to the sub because like I was, look, I experienced a lot of One Piece through the dub. Like often there will be times where it's like, all right, I like multitasking and I like anime multitasking <laughs> um and doing that you know having the dub in the background that always helps so i would have like one piece's dub in the background while i'm doing something else and that was that not only helped me to finish whatever i was working on but also to get that episode out of the way um and then eventually i did get caught up to where the dub ended which is some point in fishman island and uh and then I had to switch over, but the transition isn't that bad because the Japanese is just like, it's very easy to get into. You don't need any like weird adjusting like the like the dub for some people. I think it's just very, very great to listen to. Um, but like, yeah, the, the releases, I think if one is catching up to the One Piece via the dub, that's cool, but they definitely have to switch over at one point or be prepared to or something. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. waiting would be I terrible. <laughs> Yeah, I, okay, I was one of those people because when I caught up to One Piece, it was during the time where uh, Luffy got to Amazon Lily. So I was waiting a bit, I was waiting a long time, and I was like, you know what, screw it man, I'm watching the sub, I can't wait any longer. And it was worth it, it was worth it, I really enjoyed it, and um, I felt like it gives you a good experience. It's not like you got, you're, getting, you're, you're getting a downgrade, you're getting an upgrade, the only thing you can say is a major downgrade it's the fact that you have to put more concentration than you would have to do in um in the in in the dub but when, when you get used to 
watch it or if you watch anime in sub you wouldn't have that problem because you're just reading it and it doesn't even feel like anything it's just dumb like subconsciously you're just used to it at that point you know what i'm saying yeah but um you got anything else to add or can we wrap this video up because we've got a solid amount of stuff in terms of um timing and everything would you recommend people to watch the funimation dub and if you do recommend how do you what are the go-to places to support the dub the go-to places to support the dub <clears throat> You can either watch it on Funimation Now's uh, website, or you can watch it on, or you can like actually buy the DVDs. Because the DVDs, I think, I think our best kind of assumption at this point is they're gonna like release the dub through the DVDs. Because I think Naruto kind of does that, if I'm not mistaken, or Tsunami. It's one of the two. Um, but yeah, no, it's like. I think the One Piece dub is definitely worth it. Um, if you've already seen the series and you, like, let's say in sub and you want to maybe re-experience it, then I think it's definitely worth it um, to maybe, like, revisit certain dub arcs or dub moments or something. Uh, like, rewatching the entire series in dub, I mean, hey, that's up to you. <laughs> but, like, let's say for a first-time viewer, which I would assume is for a lot of the audience, like, th this video is directed a lot for that audience. I think that's... Um, I think it's fair to stick with the dub. You just have to like be able to switch over at a certain point. But yeah, no, nah, I recommend the dub. I'm a big fan of Funimation. I'm a big fan of One Piece and I'm happy they did a really good job on it and much better than the four kids one. Yeah, much better than four kids. To be the guy to help you out, I'll link all of those stuff in the description below in terms of where you can support it. And uh, this is gonna be me having to go out of my way to find those stuff, but I will. So I'll link it in the description below. If you guys want to support that or I'll pin it to comments, vice versa. And also, I'll put Ninja's channel in the description below so you guys can check him out. He uploads when he can. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but yeah, let me just wrap up this video. So, please comment and subscribe. I know I say this all the time, but at the end of the day, I'm just saying. Please like, rate, and enjoy this video. And yeah, this UK. Trotter Brother will catch you in the next one. Bye, guys. Work.